Oh, back down in the secret cellar, moped layer, and uh, not done with uh, fooling around with these brake pads here. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, increase the performance uh, of the, these brake shoes. Um, when you increase the performance, though, they wear a bit faster. These are the um, the uh, fancy. Treats Evil brand. Uh, you can put the treat label on the back. I don't know if that's going to reflect it from the, from the light. But uh, there we go. Better. Anyway, the Treats a uh, 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 cheapy brand uh, for Moby. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to rework them a bit. So I'm going to check them in the vise. <coughs> And uh, these are new, so I don't have to, uh, to scuff the surface. If they were previously enjoyed, I'd be taking my, uh, my, my plumber's tape and uh, just giving them a quick brush. But uh, these are brand spanking new, so don't have to mess with that. Uh, what we'll do first is uh, I'm going to shave the, uh, the sharp edge off the front and the back up the friction material. The only reason for that is just so that they don't sing. Uh, you got brakes, you know, that uh, make that nice little high-pitched squeal when you apply them. It's uh, usually because you've uh, it's working too much on the leading edge and the, and the trailing edge and not in the middle. It sets up harmonic vibrations in there and uh, and they tend to sing. So, and what we'll do next is we're going to measure across the surface here, and uh, we're going to cut some uh, some notches in it. Uh, what happens with the notches is it increases the surface area, and uh, you increase the surface area, you increase the effectivity of the brakes. So uh, that's what we're going to cut. So, uh, just take your tape measure. Uh, the end of this thing's broken, so I have to start midway along. It. So, what I do is I just uh, draw a line there, and uh, nothing get too, too fancy on this. You just want to try to make the, the, the segments uh, an equal distance. You also want to be uh, as close as possible to uh, to right angles across the uh, across the face. So if you don't have a square in your workshop, use the edge of a card with a square, just so you can mark a line that's uh, perpendicular to the rotation of the drum that's going around it. And then, here we go, this is a, this is a lovely shaped uh, uh, round on one side, flat on the other side, uh, uh, bastard file, and uh, even a single cut, uh, a flat and round will do it. Uh, it gives you a very nice bevel. Uh, if you've got a triangular one, the angle's a little bit much, but if you don't have much to choose from, uh, that's what you can use. Uh, the other thing you can use, you can uh, run across it with your trusty hacksaw and uh, just cut a notch. And uh, as you see, it doesn't take long. It's really not even worth uh, getting out the Dremel to uh, to do this. Just one thing you want to do is uh, uh, count how many strokes you're doing so that uh, the uh, the notches are, are basically even.
There we go. There's three notches. I think uh, I'm going to just do a couple more passes to make it good and deep. There we go. One, two, three notches in it. That's good enough. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'll be quite happy with just that. It's going to improve the braking a little bit. I'm going to throw this on the Moby that's got the sidecar, so uh, it needs a little bit of help on the braking because you also use your brakes uh, to help hang a corner so that the uh, that the uh, the hack actually drives around the bike, and uh, also the extra weight, and it's a little off center, so you want to make sure you've got good brakes and you can keep some control at all times. So there we go, just uh, bevel that edge a little bit, and again get, get out our tape. We'll measure it so that we got uh, three notches. Oh. Then get ourselves squared up. These are just easy mods, you know. Very easy mods. The price of these brakes is a little bit of a, it's almost it's almost like it's a free uh, free performance improvement. Counted the passes last time, then you can just uh, you can just go to town with your second shoe. Notches, we got three notches, uh, pretty much uh, all set. And uh, one other mod, we got uh, this already here. I'm gonna put a rag in here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna lighten the shoe a little bit and uh, give it a little bit more cooling power by uh, cross drilling just the, the webbing just a little bit. Again, more surface area, more effective braking. So, down here is a four millimeter drill. Drill the corners a little bit. Uh, drill the corners a little bit. I don't know if you heard that over the drill. My drill is noisy, it's old. Uh, do a 
against a six millimeter uh, hole for the centered hole. Just because there's a little bit more webbing that can come off. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's, some people say, oh, that's not too big a deal, but you know what? It isn't a big deal. Just takes a moment to do that. And there we go. That's a little bit lighter. You know, we got the other guy, uh, so that one was just kind of playing catch up to the to the system. And uh, now we'll just throw them into the plate, backing plate, and uh, basically we're off to the races. Or in this case, uh, we're uh, we're off to do some uh, some riding uh, with the sidecar. <laughs>